Okay, so we need to add normals to our objects and to get it passed in. So if we look in our vertex shader, remember we started out with attributes for positions. Now we're going to have attributes for UV, which we used in the last assignment. Now we're going to have attributes for normals. So it's just another attribute that we're going to get passed in here. Um, and what are we going to do with this normal? Well, for now, we're going to make a varying in order to pass it to the fragment shader. And we're just going to pass it straight through to the, to the fragment shader. We're not doing anything with it yet. Um, and in the fragment shader, what are we going to do with this normal? Um, you can either, just for now, set your fragment color to the normal, or you can wait until later to deal with it. Since I had this if structure deciding which texture I was going to use, um, and I had some debugging for checking out my UV um, set to one of these things. I just made a new magic number. Um, so when I set my texture to negative three, I'm going to set that object to set the color to whatever the, the normal is. And we'll come back to this in a little in a little bit. Okay, so this is what I'm doing with the normal. So how am I going to set this thing up? So um, remember, we have to connect things to GLSL. So in the same way that we um, connected our other attributes, we need to connect this normal attribute. Uh, and then we're going to have to set up uh, this normal in, in some kind of way. So where are we set that up? So I'm going to set that up in cubes. So in cubes, when I was, I'm not using render fast right now, I'm just using my plain, my plain render. So uh, I was drawing triangles with, uh, potentially with UV. So I've now made a new function, draw triangle with 3D UV normal, and I'm going to specify the position for the vertices of the triangle, the UV for the vertices of the triangle, and the normal for the vertices of the triangle. So now this was the front of the cube. So the front of my cube, the normal is pointing back towards me, so in the negative Z direction. So I've set all three vertices to have the normal in the negative Z direction. And the other triangle for the front of the cube is going to have the same normals pointing back. When we go to a different uh, face of the cube, so let's go take the right-hand face of the cube, for instance. So on the right-hand face of the cube, my normals now point in the x direction. Um, so you can figure out which direction your normals should point for each of your faces of your cube by just drawing a little picture and then figuring out which direction do the normals point and then just typing in what the, what the right answer is uh, to have these. My, by the way, uh, my UVs are all screwy, so don't believe my UVs because I'm not using it very much right now. So I've just gone and typed this in for each of the faces. Uh, I've made my new function, draw triangle 3D UV normal. I've done that by just extending what I did before. I previously had draw 3D UV, and I had a section for creating a buffer uh, and dealing with the positions, and another section for creating the buffer and dealing with the UV. And I've now just created another, I've just copied down another section for creating a buffer and dealing with the normals. And it's being passed in as a third parameter here. So it's it's all doing essentially what we had done before. Don't forget to change this to a three here and when we set up our attribute pointer. Now you may be packing yours in a different way. For efficiency reasons, you may have re-established the way you're dealing with your buffers to be interleaved, or you may have different naming. There's a variety of different ways you could be passing your buffers. Uh, there's no need that you're passing it in three different buffers like this. You, you could be doing it in another way. But anyway, I just set it up as another attribute and combine it with what I was doing. So we don't yet know if any of those normals I typed in are actually right. I could have all kinds of bugs. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add these two buttons here, normal on and normal off, so that we can try to visualize our normals and see what's going on. So uh, the same way, we hook up our buttons by just go putting them in HTML, and then in our adding actions for HTML, um, these, are the, these are the button names. And all of these buttons are doing is just turning on a global variable. It's set to true or false. And then inside my render function, this code's getting longer. I need a better way to organize it. Inside my render function, uh, I'm, I'm going, and remember, I've set this up on an if statement. So I now have things that say things like, if G normals are on, then set the texture number to negative three. right? And if number was off, it's going to be the default, which was to say to use the, the color. So, so this is just a way to flip it on whenever that button was set. So let's go take a look at, at what happens with that. 
So here's with my normals turned on, my normals turned off. I didn't do it for the floor um, because I'm setting it for object. You, you could be setting it as a uniform that does it for the whole scene. That would be okay too. So what are these colors that are now on my object? These are the colors that are showing the direction the normals are facing. And um, this, this color is just a representation of the XYZ bound into color space. So everything that's pointing the same way should have the same color. So these are on the same side, so they have the same color because the normal should be the same way. So there's one thing that we see that we still have a bug here. So the inside of this wall, well, now I'm on the inside of the cube for these, for these walls. I'm looking at the inside, and the normal is pointing at the back, right? This wall has its, has its normal vertices set to be on the back because it's on the back wall, but that's not quite what I want. I want my lighting to interact as if it's facing me on the inside. So I'm going to need to play some trick to get these normals flipped around. And this is a good example of why we want this normal debugging. We want to be able to have our regular scene. Go flip this on and see what's going on with our normals so that we can debug what's later going on in our lighting. So what are we going to have to do in order to flip this thing around? So let's go. I'm not even in the right file here. Let's go over to our world. Scroll down to our rendering all. And in my sky cube, I'm just going to play a little trick. It was it was um, scaled by five to go around my world. I'm going to flip it around to be inverted in all the axes, so scaled by negative five. And now it's going to it's basically the cube has flipped, but the normal directions haven't flipped. And so now my back wall, the normal is facing the right way, and you see that. When I'm looking from this direction, the things pointed this way have the, have the same color. So now I've got my normals flipped around the right way in the cube. The only last thing that I want to comment on is um, here you see that I have a cube in my animation, which always has the normals on. Because I've got it set up per object, I can, I can have some of my objects that are showing normals and some of my objects that are showing colors. You don't need to have it this way, but I just don't want you to be confused by what you're seeing in here.